Among Us is a game about deception, lying to your friends as the imposter, or convincing your friends as a crewmate. I am Eric, I'm a game designer, and first off I want to thank you for suggesting me to play Among Us. Today I want to look at how Among Us manages to create confusion, leading to fierce discussions and conflict. I also want to look at how the game is so accessible, which is one of the reasons why the player base is gigantic. Among Us does everything within its power to create ambiguous situations, because this leads to confusion and chaos, which in turn leads to interesting gameplay with memorable moments. The fact that players are unable to communicate with each other whilst playing the game means that the moment the discussion phase is initiated, there is an information overload. Everyone has a different perspective of what just happened, on why one person followed you, or why someone didn't complete their tasks. All the information you receive is second-hand information. It is unreliable information. And because everyone has different types of information, chaos will be initiated the moment the discussion phase starts. Players will have opposing stories and accuse each other. What Among Us does so well is encourage misinformation misinterpretation from players in order to enhance this chaos through its game design. For example, the moment you start performing a task, the UI overlays a significant amount of screen space, not only because it looks better and makes it easier for the players to understand what to do, it is there to limit the information the player can perceive whilst performing the task. This is only enhanced by the tension which is raised by the tasks being time sensitive. There's always this pressure of doing a task as quickly as possible, because you're currently in a vulnerable state. Anyone could kill you right now. And this tension overlaps with the sense of ambiguity. Because you want to do everything fast, because you're always on your toes, you are going to misinterpret information. You are going to create patterns which don't exist, simply because you're under stress. And this once again ties into the sense of chaos. It's not only the imposters who are going to provide misinformation during the discussion, it is also the crewmates, because we are prone to make mistakes under pressure. Mechanically, Among Us is a simple game. You complete your tasks and you win the game. But in practice, it's never that simple. Not just because there are imposters trying to sabotage everything, no, because you as players don't perform your tasks optimally. Since there is always this sense of suspicion towards other players, crewmates don't work effectively. Instead, there's a tendency that you start running around because someone has been chasing you. Are they just checking you're not an imposter or are they there to kill you? This means that not just the imposters are working against the crewmates, the crewmates are working against each other because of their limited communication during the game. Because there is no communication whilst playing the game, you always have to assume the intent of the other player, which once again leads to confusion and suspicion. Because of the limited amount of information, Among Us really gets players to think about their actions. Can they really trust this player? Should they complete this task first? Is this the right positioning at the right time? All these simple actions within the game, all these simple mechanics, carry way more meaning because of the tension, because of the misinformation, and the consequences of misinterpreting a situation can be quite severe. Among Us takes social deduction games to another level, by promoting misinformation through its game mechanics, but also by being inclusive, replayable and fast. The player base has only been growing and attracting people who would normally never play these type of games. And Among Us does this in a very clever way. First off, they ensure that the game is at a very low price, which means the commitment for new players is low. You can even download the game on your phone, play it for free, and still be able to play with your friends on PC. They also increase the accessibility by the simplicity. The simplicity of the controls as well as the mechanics. You can play this game with only your mouse, which is indicative of how easy it is to learn. You simply interact and learn whilst you go. And there's a very well-guided tutorial as well for new players, explaining them what the game is about 
and providing them the opportunity to freely move around the environment without any other players to learn the ropes. Within 10 minutes, anyone can learn the game and start tricking their friends. What is also an important aspect when it comes to these type of multiplayer games is the sense of self-expression. Among Us ensures that you can play the way you want whilst looking the way you want through its customization options, which allows you to express yourself as a player, as well as through the gameplay. You can go wherever you want to. You can be as ruthless or merciful as you like. It is all about self-expression. Among Us provides a multiplayer sandbox with specific restrictions to reduce the clarity of understanding. Among Us is a master of interactivity. Even after you die, there is meaningful gameplay. You can still win the game by performing your tasks as the ghost. But even once you've completed that, there are interesting moments to witness, simply by observing how other players are playing, seeing the imposter controlling the game, getting into the room with a crewmate, and you are experiencing the sense of anticipation knowing that the situation is beyond your control. The simplicity of Among Us in combination with the common misinterpretation leads to a fertile foundation for you as a player to create your own fun, experience memorable moments and be eager to play the game again. Because every game is a new riddle, a mystery you want to solve. Will your information help the crewmates or help the imposters instead? because your reality may not have been the truth. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Game Designer Plays. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And make sure to comment down below which game you want me to play next. I really appreciate your feedback and kind comments in this section down below. And I hope to see you back in my next video. See you there. Bye bye.